black bars. Now I'm going to span the table. We're going to make some chantilly cream here. Simple syrup. We've got some uh, manuscino cherry from the top of the cake. Chocolate cake. Some cherry filling from the inside. Some chocolate shavings. And they're ready. So here we go. We're going to make a chantilly. We're going to put our cream in the bowl. And we're going to whip it to a soft peak. Very soft peak. We're going to add our sugar. We're going to add our vanilla. Add our vanilla and Kirsch. Now we're going to beat it to a soft peak. This is going to be for the top of your cake. So we want it on a very soft stage so it will flow on the top of the cake. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna release that. We're gonna remove a quarter of it and then gonna re-beat beat the remaining to a medium peak. I'm gonna beat it the rest of the way to a, a little bit of a medium, medium step. Be careful not to overbeat, because when you ice your cake, it'll form butter. Okay, that's good. We're going to torta our cake. We're going to cut this into trees. Hold the night. Remember, it's fat around one side, skinny on this side. If you cut in a little bit, use where you're at to cut where you're going. That may not make sense. Bring it around. That's going to be my top layer. I'll flip it over. That'll be my top layer. Nice top layer. Now we'll cut the next layer. We are using a chiffon cake today, chocolate chiffon. You could use a sponge cake. It'll still be very fine for this. I've used a box cake, and it's worked very well, too. That's my bottom layer. We're going to simple syrup all three layers. This is Kirsch Simple Syrup. Thing we're going to take the stiffer chantilly cream, put it in a bag. And we're going to form a well. So we're going to run this on the outside. What kind of a tip is it you're using? Tip? Uh, I really any any random tip. I tend to like this is a star tip. You could use a plain tip. You're probably up near a three or four. Okay. Now we're going to put our cherry filling in the middle. Move this filling around. These are tart cherries, not Bing cherries. They're very, very tart. Adds to it. Okay, put our next layer. Top. I'll tell you what. We can do this. We've got it anyway. Just short strokes back and forth. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go like this because I can see the cake. Slide that layer on top. Like push down and get a little bit even. Okay. Now we're going to take our loose Chantilly cream, put it on top. Work this back and forth. This gives you the ability to work this a little bit more and not worry about that butter forming. Okay, once you get that, I'll kind of, kind of work this just to get rid of my excess. 
Now I'm going to take the medium and we're going to work this on the sides of the cake. Just a thin layer. If you see the chocolate cake through it, it's okay because you're going to have chocolate shavings all along the side which is going to cover it all up. So it's going to work. Okay, let me clean it up all on the outside. Good. And now you're going to cut this. Come straight, cut. Straight, cut. Straight, cut. Each time I'm cleaning the spatula off. Because this is the finish on your cake. And this is why I've also gone to softer buttercream. Clean this up. All right, give it a little bit of this on the top, kind of finish it off. Cut in half. half. Next stage is I'm going to pick the cake up. I'm going to cut away the cardboard all the way around. Okay, now these have been in the freezer and we've shaved them. We're gonna bring this all the way up to the top edge, all the way around. This is beautiful because it, it, it decorates a cake and it's very, I call this a culinary cake because you don't have to do a lot of piping on the sides of the cake. It still looks stunning and beautiful when it's all done. Really important that you come all the way to the top, to the angle on the top. put a circle in the center and carefully put this in the middle spread it out so it's within the circle Got it? and now we're going to pick it up and move it that's in the center of a cake now we're going to do rosettes you'll have rosettes which are probably one of the more difficult th things to do in pastry. You want to bring it up like a mushroom, around, cut it off, come this way. It's going to be on the back edge. Okay. And then to finish it off, we have some manoshino cherries that have been cut in half. And we put them on paper for them to dry and put on, on every rosette. Awesome. 